Jesus is King. Welcome to the Guild Family Stream. This is Timothy Flanders with the Meaning of Catholic. Welcome to the Great Fast of Lent. Hope you are all having a blessed beginning of this Great Fast. Uh, shout out to the members of the Fellowship of St. Anthony taking on the uh, disciplines that we have for the fast. So hope you're all having a good beginning. And we, we have been blessed with our share of suffering. And that's what we're going to talk about. Today's topic is the latest rescript from Pope Francis. His Holiness has confirmed the restrictions on the Latin Mass, specifically undercutting the bishop's authority to essentially veto, sort of veto power, um, which we'll talk about in a minute. As always, we'll release the first 15 minutes or so of this show to the public and invite you to support this apostolate. And you can go to meaningofcatholic.com slash register or slash donate to get the full show. So I'll make a few comments here, and then we can get y'all's comments in just a few minutes. Um, the uh, Here, first I'll share the press release from the Latin Mass Society of England and Wales and Una Voce. Una Voce is really the oldest lay organization promoting the Latin Mass, founded in 1964. And this press release sort of explains some of the basics of what this is. So um, essentially what this rescript does is that it explicitly states that a bishop cannot invoke Canon 87. Canon 87 is essentially the bishop's veto power to grant a dispensation to a universal law. So the... This press release discusses how uh, what is happening is that the permission for the Latin Mass and all of its sacramentals and everything is reserved to the Latin or reserved to the Holy See. So, in order to have a Latin Mass, you have to get permission straight from the Holy See. The bishop can no longer, according to this rescript, can no longer veto essentially give a dispensation for this allowance but he has to request this from the Holy See. The Latin Mass Society states this, they would like to express its dismay that authority over a matter of such pastoral sensitivity has been centralized in this way. And they mention uh, if bishops throughout the world are asking for permission, perhaps it would make them rethink this. Now, let's go back to...